Hey guys, it's Chris from UFO Issue, and today I want to bring a conspiracy theory to your to your attention that is both uh, just interesting and also riddled with information that could lead a, uh, an investigator astray. And I found it just an awesome one. I love con a good conspiracy theory. I watch it. I you know look up good conspiracy theories all the time. But I wanted to bring this one to your attention because it had hit. Twitter recently and so it kind of boiled its head back up but I wanted to spell anything uh, about this conspiracy and sort of put it to rest and show you how it's uh, yeah, I can debunk it essentially and yeah, you know I love a good conspiracy theory but this one doesn't actually stand up to the facts so if you're not familiar Jeremy Corbell posted the go fast video in um, the go fast video came out on May 8th, I'm sorry, May 9th, 2018, and um, what some Redditor found was the video, the video that was posted of the GoFast video, he links it here, was created on January 2nd, 2016, and everybody thought, well, what's this? If you look at first glance, you're going to say, well, that means Jeremy had this video for a year and a half before or a year and a few months before it came out officially. And if you just look at that, that fact and that's it, you're gonna think to yourself, well, there's some fishy going on. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that his explanation for why he did this holds water. I mean, it holds water in terms of the data and I'm gonna try to go through, the re through all the data points that we have. So, but first I wanna show you sort of what Jeremy put together and his official statement. And his official statement is copy pasted throughout this, this thread, so it's definitely his official statement. And I'll leave links below, you can check them all out, I always do. Thursday, March 8th, the day before the To The Stars release, I used the replacement process on a three-year-old video for my Skinwalker Ranch film project. I took a file holder, a page from the January 2nd, 2015 and uploaded a new video. Okay. This is proof I don't do this for nefarious reasons. So he goes on, the page was private. Way back would not have logged it. So there's no mystery. I've been culling my thousands of Vimeo uploads into groups or projects as I'm in the process of two films for 2018 and I'm doing house cleaning in my account. I've been replacing the super old ones with new videos to make scrolling and searching non-group material easier in my vast archive by getting rid of the, the, uh, the past versions of videos I don't need. I didn't realize it when posting to Facebook that the date is publicized by a direct link, as on mobile devices. It's not, and you only see the video, meaning that it doesn't link back to the Vimeo page, from what I could tell. Creating confusion was quite unintentional. I've removed the upload causing confusion and posted one yesterday for clarification. So, this was posted on March 10th. So he said he posted the new one yesterday, and that's true, because here's the new one. Here's the new video, and on that video date is March 9th. The interesting thing about Vimeo is that the Vimeo data is right in the HTML. So we know for a fact from Vimeo server and from when it was archived that this, is, this data provided is the data that is 100% is accurate. Um, and if you're interested in knowing how to do that, you can basically, in your browser of choice, right-click Inspect Element, and then in the uh, Inspector, you can find Upload Date, and you can see this big block of, of JSON data. So I've put together a sort of list. I put together the data that's that's and prettified it and put it in this this format here. So you can kind of see what that JSON data looks like. And I'll leave a link in how to do that too. Uh, but I, I've kind of boiled it down to two main major pieces. From the data, we know these important facts. So the first bit of information that's important is that the first video that Jeremy uploaded is has this ID, has this name, this duration of 34 seconds, 
which is important because that tells us the length, the length of the video. We know that both videos were exactly, exactly the same length. So that tells us that the videos were the same. So we know what we're, what we're talking about. The other most important part are the upload date and the date modified on each video. So let's extrapolate some information based on what we have. So I've kind of created an order of events of what makes sense and what data that we have. So the first thing that happens is in 2016, January 2nd, he had an old video that was there, okay? Well, or the, this video existed. We don't have any information about the original video or what was in it. Um, then the second thing that happens is on the 8th, Corbell's assertion is from this thread, Thursday, March 8th, that's when he replaced the video. Okay, that's Corbell's assertion. I don't have any data to back that up other than his word. So we'll assume that that's, that's what we're going to put here. The second video that he uploaded on the 9th, which he describes here, is this video. And we've extrapolated that data. And then the day after that, he then edits the first video again the day this thread comes out. So sometime in the morning, 9, 9.30, he edited the first video. Then, um, and then he deleted it sometime thereafter. We don't know when after because the uh, the Wayback Machine gives you this fact. It only gives you snapshots. So it gives you a snapshot of this and it gives you a snapshot of March 11th. So we know that sometime thereafter it was deleted. And of course, if you look at the snapshot, you'll see that the uh, on this date, March 11th, it wasn't found. So, some weirdness that happened, the weirdness that happened was that, first of all, that he overrode a video with a new video. People thought it was weird. The other thing weird that happened was that not only did he modify the, the first video, he modified it again before deleting it. Um, and we don't really have any explanation for that, but it's a strange happening. It's a strange order of events. Um, like, why would he modify this one beforehand, modify it again this day, and then delete it? Why wouldn't he have just deleted it? I, I don't, I wouldn't suppose to speculate on, on those questions because there's, there's literally no way of knowing. But his story actually does fit with what data we have. The, all the data provided from the Wayback Machine and... Uh, everything that he says in here matches. So I'm going to have to call this one completely debunked um, and basically say, uh, you know, I'm open to ideas that are that are contrary to this, if there's any more data that people can find or more information. But as far as I can tell, Jeremy's telling the truth on this. So I'd like to put that to rest. Thanks for watching.